What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here and wow, it's good to be back. So I just landed, I'm back in the USA, back to making videos and I wanted to jump on this one right away because today iOS 9.3.5 was released. It's a deceptively small update, 40 megabytes, doesn't seem like a big deal, but it is a very, very big deal because it changes something that's absolutely crazy. I cannot believe this exists today. So in the last couple of days, there has been a lot of murmur, a lot of noise about a hack. So there is a crazy new zero day exploit, well, three to be exact, that allows somebody or a firm that's using it to get complete access to your phone. Now this is just crazy because this allows you to do several things. For one, it will intercept all of your text messages, all of your phone calls, whatever you do, your photos, everything from halfway across the globe. It will even activate your microphone, your camera and allow that other person to see it so you can install third party software behind the scenes without you ever even knowing what's going on just by doing one thing. One mistake is all it takes and uh, your device is completely hacked. So. This exploit is what iOS 9.3.5 fixes, and Apple was very, very quick to jump on this. It was like one day, two days, and they released this update to fix this exploit. So there's a little history behind this. It's actually a really good read. I'll leave a link down below uh, for details about this hack. It's kind of crazy. Just, you know, the fact that it's being used today. There was an Israeli activist that received a text message, and in this text message, this malware was encrypted. So the way that it's spread is basically you'll receive a text message with a link. And this right here is all it takes to become hacked or infected with this new malware. So if you're on iOS 9.3.4 or below, you'll receive a text message. Inside, there will be a link to visit a web page. As soon as you click on it in the background, your device is you know, beginning to download that malware, become infected, and that firm has complete access to your device. So this exploit is absolutely crazy. It's worth at least a million dollars. That's what uh, you know someone paid for it in the past. So this is a big, big deal. 9.3.5 basically fixes this. It right away allows that person to not be able to access your iPhone using these exploits anymore. Now this begs the question, if you're jailbroken on iOS 9.3.5, 3.3, where do you stand right now? Well, you are vulnerable. So right now, if it's at all possible, who knows, maybe someone will release a patch using you know, what Apple used in 9.3.5 to re-engineer the patch and deliver it to users on 9.3.3 with a jailbreak. That's very unlikely. The best thing you guys can do if you're jailbroken right now is to not open up any links from unknown people. You know, that's just number one for you, especially if you work in government, in law enforcement, whatever it is, you know, the higher the position, the riskier it is to open up links from unknown senders. So be very wary of that. So this also begs another question. iOS 9.3.4 may be receiving a jailbreak very soon in the future. You know, these exploits do exist. They're out already. They're known. So it would be easy easier to make a jailbreak for 9.3.4, but would the work be worth it? Probably not because 9.3.3 already has a good jailbreak. Everybody that's on it is probably going to stay there unless of course someone did make a 9.3.4 jailbreak for all devices, including 32 bit. But anyways, guys, this is a big deal. So if you're worried about the security of your device, I would update to 9.3.5. Of course, if you're on a jailbreak, just don't open any messages with links. That's the best thing you can do right now. So that's pretty much the major change in iOS 9.3.5. But what can we expect when it comes to a jailbreak for this firmware? Will it happen? Highly, highly unlikely. Right now, there is really no point in putting so much effort into making a jailbreak for a firmware that's about to be obsolete. iOS 10 is going to be here in about two weeks. No, like 10, 11 days now until the event. So we really don't have long to wait. And I'd rather have the jailbreak teams put their effort into a jailbreak for iOS 10 instead of 9.3.5, which is now much, much harder to jailbreak. Also, I just want to let you guys know that it is no longer possible to downgrade to 9.3.4 or 9.3.3. So we are in jailbreak survival mode. If you're on a jailbreak, if you still have it running right now, do not update as there is no longer a way to go back and re jailbreak. So just thought I'd let you guys know that in general, you know, kind of a crappy day, uh, crappy news to hear in general about iOS that it's so easily hackable using these exploits. But again, if you want to be protected, go ahead and update right away to 9.3.5 unless you want to stay on an older firmware. And as far as performance goes, I'm going to go ahead and update real quick, see if there's any difference whatsoever. All right, and this is the Geekbench score I'm looking at with iOS 9.3.5. So 2407 and 4254. Looking at the last one on 9.3.4, 2483 and 43. 
44. So it did go down by a significant amount on the multi-core and on the single core score as well. So this probably doesn't reflect too much on usability though, as always. So anyways, guys, there it is. iOS 9.3.5 is out. Avoid it like the plague if you are jailbroken and want to stay that way. And if you're on iOS 9.3.4 right now, I would stay there for a little bit just in case we get any hope of a jailbreak coming out. Otherwise, update, it will make your iPhone safer you know, in every way. Who wants an iPhone that could get completely hacked? So guys, I will be catching up in the next few days on a lot of videos I missed out on, so stay tuned for that. Yeah, have a great day, guys. Stay safe. Peace.